hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i will be showing you that how to make a python api which can scrape website data and then uh, return those data in a json format in this video i will be only making the python api and in the next video i will be showing you that how to implement this api in your flutter ui so without wasting any more time let's get started the website which i will be scraping is brainy course and as you can see right now on the screen this is the brainy course now brainycourse.com has a lot of course uh, based on your query and we will be scraping course and its author name and all of that will be done using our api and our api will return those data in a json format so that we can decode it later in our flutter app now first of all create a flask project and here import flask request and jsonify now we will be also using beautiful soup and request library and i will tell you how you can use that now first of all define the root and you can define any root here now we will be using get method as you can see here i define a function api and this function will be called whenever the user go to slash api slash v1 now first of all our function will check if the request was a get request now if the request was a get request then this block of code will run now here you can see at the first line in a app block there is a variable called uri and here i paste the website url now here in a second line you can see query variable and i am saying request dot orgs and then query now here what it's mean if a user first parameter query in a url then we will be storing the value of query in our query variable in our python api now here i am checking if there is a space in the query then we will be replacing this space with a plus sign let me explain what i mean now here if we search something like inspirational quotes then the space between inspirational and quotes will be replaced with plus sign and here you can see search variable and here we store slash search result question mark here now this is the static part of the url as you can see here and the query will be the dynamic part of the url which will change based on the user input now at the next line you can see ready uri and that is uri plus search now ready uri is a complete url and we will be requesting ready uri now let me explain it if the user fast inspirational as a query then the ready url will look like this now we we need to request this ready URI in our Python API so that we can get the source code of this page and we can work with it. Now in order to get the source code of any page we need to use request library and here we are using request.get and then passing the URI and then we are saying dot content. Now what it means that whatever URL we are passing we need the content of that page and that content will be the source code and we are storing that source code in a content variable. Now here we start our scraping process and first of all we make a variable soup and then we are using beautiful soup and beautiful soup require a source code and we are passing the source code and then a parser and here we are passing html parser you can use that now here i make another variable and that is quotes link and here i am saying that soup dot find all and then i am passing here a tag and then a class if you are wondering how i get that class and tag then you can get it very easily all you need to do is to open your browser and then go to that url and then right click on that page here and go to inspect element and here you see a lot of uh, html element and the one we want to scrape is uh, this href link now here you can see there is an href link and this href link is in an a tag and that a tag has a class of bqt now that's why i pass the a tag and then a class bqt now this line of code will scrape all a tag that has same class and that store all that tags in a code links as a list now here in the next line i create an empty list and i will be using that in a few moments now here i start a for loop and here i am saying for i in code links now what it mean that for each item in quotes link the following code will run now for loop create an empty dictionary first of all and then it get the quote uri variable and here it store uri plus i dot get href now it will scrape the href tag and then add it to the uri now if you visit quote url in our browser you will find this page and in this page you can see there is an author name and a quote and we'll be scraping quote and author name first of all we'll be scraping quote and then author name and we'll be storing that in our, our empty dictionary now we can do that the same way we did the previous step in scraping the href tag now we will be changing only the tag here and the class here based on our need now the quote tag is present in paragraph tag and which has a class of b-qt and it is a text so that's why we are using dot text 
and that text will be stored in a dictionary in a key code now for scraping author name you can do the same but you have to only change the class and the tag based on the author tag and to get the text from the author tag uh, you have to use dot text method and i use dot strap method to remove any x's spaces if the spaces is uh, after the author name or before the author name it will remove now at the last line i am saying that append dictionary d in a list l now this line of code will continue until the end of quote links and that will be the same for each item in a quote links now after the end of quote links uh, we will be returning or list as a json object and we can do that very easily by returning jsonify and then we will be passing our list here now if we test our api it's work perfectly fine the way we want now i hope that you like the video and if you do like the video then please kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified whenever i upload new videos in this series thank you guys thanks for watching